The history of the Borgward Hansa Hepmüller convertible is as old as the history of the Federal Republic of Germany. And it looks like it's just driven out of a film from the post-war years. Then there's that old-fashioned metallic knocking sound of the 52 horsepower engine. Our test driver says he's driving a real luxury car, a Borgward Hansa 1500, built in 1951. The glittering gold of the steering wheel and instruments transport him back to the heydays of the West German economic boom. The Borgward was a bit of a miracle in post-war Germany. When it was introduced at the Geneva Motor Show in 1949, the Hansa 1500 blew the competition away. Opel, Ford, and Mercedes were still showing cars based on pre-war models from the 1930s. The Hansa's engine was superior, too. A sleek four-cylinder motor boasted 52 horsepower, whereas the Mercedes 170V could only manage 45. Officially, this vehicle has a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour, our test driver says. But to reach it requires a lot of time and courage as the car is hard to handle. Because it lurches around so much, he didn't do more than 80. And that was enough. On the other hand, the rear swing axle, which makes the car so hard to control, also ensures a surprisingly comfortable ride. Christoph Bauer says visually it's like having the back of a whale in front of you. From this vantage point, people might think the car is huge, but that's not so. The Hansa was produced as a sedan, a station wagon, a box van, and even as a four-door luxury convertible with a Hepmüller car body, like this model from the Zeithaus Museum in Wolfsburg. Our test driver notes that he very quickly picked up on the car's biggest weakness, its gearbox. He says having the shift on the steering wheel, the height of modernity in the 1950s, doesn't make things easier, as there's no direct access to the gearbox. The thing catches and jerks, but when it works, it works, he adds. Twenty-three thousand Hansa 1500s were built over the course of three years. There's something almost stately about driving a Borgward Hansa 1500, Bauer says, but in 1949 this car was absolutely state-of-the-art. It was the first German car with an American-style pontoon body. Still, he notes that it's very simple, with little in the way of chrome and trim. But the technology was very modern. Independent suspension, electric turn signals, and starting in 1950, the first German-made automatic transmission the Hansamatic. However, Bauer says that the VW Hepmüller looks much younger, fresher, almost eccentric, even though it uses much older shapes. Car body manufacturer Hepmüller transformed the VW Beetle into an iconic convertible. With its coquettish rounded back, completely retractable roof, and elegant two-tone paint job, the mass-market vehicle was now a luxury car. But with its 25 horsepower engine, it remained down to earth. Bauer thinks it suits him better than the Borgward. Just two new models were marketed in Germany in 1949. The voluptuous Borgward and the Schick VW Hepmüller convertible were the colorful cars of their day. In comparison to the Borgward, Bauer says this VW drives in a wonderful manner that's almost lively and sporty. He says back then, there were people who loved the extravagant, and so Hepmüller was contracted to build 2,000 of these convertibles. They built just 696, though, because their production facilities burned down in 1949. This tragic event has made the VW Hepmüller convertible into a much sought-after collector's item that sells for the price of a Ferrari. Just 100 of the convertibles are still around today. Christoph Bauer says, just like with the Borgward, the VW also wanders around on the road. Its narrow tires and rear swing axle mean that you really have to concentrate to keep within the lane. When out for a drive, it's best to take the advice of Beetle developer Ferdinand Porsche 
and just let the 1.1 liter four cylinder engine rejoice. From not to 150 seconds, not exactly a sports car, he exclaims. The car can only reach 105 kilometers an hour, but he says that doesn't matter. With the wind in your hair, you feel you're traveling fast. In its day, the VW Hepmüller cost 7,500 Deutschmarks, three times as much as a normal Beetle. The Hansa convertible sold for almost 11,500 marks. Our test driver says if he had to choose between the two Hepmüller convertibles, he'd take the VW because it handles better and he loves its shape. He says the instruments are a bit more reserved and spartan, but then again, he prefers understatement. To this day, both Hepmüller convertibles are still dream cars, and that's no understatement.